Hello, front runners. Thank you for joining us for today's service. My name is David. A very big thank you to those who have been joining us, those who have been joining our online service. Today, we're going to be talking about Fuliza. Yes, money. So I urge you to stay tuned. Don't forget to set your notification bell if you don't want to be left behind. And also, very important, guys, don't forget to subscribe, like, share and comment below and without shorts let me welcome the worship team over to you worship team do have yourself a lovely sunday
Ah, bueno, eso es el pibe sana. Amen. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. How are you? I'm doing great. Mm -hmm. Yes. Ah, uh, yeah, and I'm fine. Very fine. Anyway, Explain yes. What's it? Ah, uh, Asante Sana for plugging in this morning. I'm grateful to God for allowing us to be here. Yes. And I'm very much excited. Leo, what's it? To know that you're going to be here. Fuliza, man. Fuliza. Fuliza. Well, this thing came up <laughs> last year. Uh, Becky, and by the way, uh, it's been one of those things. You know, you are squeezing, kufuliza, kufuliza, kufuliza. I just squeeze, was say, okay, katia madam, smaze, lazima kuna kuka line somewhere. I hata ukienda kuna nguo. Lazima, lazima. Anyway, so it's the day, but basically what we were talking about is debt, of course, and debt management. And um, last time we talked about building financial, strong yes. financial foundations. Foundations. Uh, but of course, we're also talking about a generation. Young people have been entrapped. Manze to me, to me, kuwa kuwa cage, manze na madeni. So how do we go about that? What does yeah. the Bible have got to say about that? Mm. Anyway, that's our sharing this morning. Yes, yes. yes, yes, yes. So, karibu sana week. Asante. Uh, it's another week that uh, we have had the honor and the privilege of having you here. Thank you. Yes. It has been an honor myself. Yeah. Yes. To be here and just to learn from each other. Sure. And to empower each other. Yes. Yes. As an expert in money. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Money matters. Oh, money matters. Oh, yes. Yeah. So pray for us. Okay. Let's pray. Um, Heavenly Father, I come before you this morning. Thank you, dear Lord, for the gift of life. Thank you for bringing us here, dear Lord. Thank you for this opportunity and for this series that we are learning on our careers and on money matters and how we can handle it. And we pray, dear Heavenly Lord, that you will allow your spirit in us to guide us on how to handle our 
financial situations, on how to avoid debt and get out of it when, if we are in it, dear Lord. Be with us. May we make you the center of our lives, dear Heavenly Father, and may you control us and guide us on how to spend our money wisely yes. and how to use it for your service yes. and for your glory. Thank you. Open our ears, open our minds, open our hearts. In the name of Jesus Christ, we do pray and believe. Amen. Amen. <coughs> now, uh, you are in Venus and they say, uh, numbers don't lie. Okay. Let's, let's, let, let, let's look at some numbers. Now, I was looking at uh, an article that was written by the standard. Mm-hmm. Um, I think in, just in one. Mm-hmm. Now, they, they were estimating that um, last year, yeah. Okay, let, let's start because this is very contemporary and uh, it's quite handy with us. Mm-hmm. Uh, Fuliza had 10.5 million subscribers. Wow. Uh, 2020, wow. <laughs> you're talking about 20 million subscribers. subscribers. That's in two years. That's in just in two Actually, it's one year because that was 20, yeah, 20, 20, 20, 20, yeah, 2020. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Now, and uh, again, this is what was the same article said that uh, the loan that has been given via Pulisa Pekeake to, to Wananchi. Yes, to Wananchi is estimated to be $245 billion. What? Yes, yes. Madness. Ah, so, tuko na madeni. <laughs> yes, and that's the culture in which we are in. And unfortunately. So, I can't help to ask myself, uh, what does the Bible say about that? Mm. Yes. Well, the Bible has a lot to say about debt, yes. but what we need to, the tagline that we need to go about today mm-hmm. is that we should be very cautious about it, you yes, know? Yes. It should be something that is a last resort. Like, I've looked at all other um, opportunities, all other avenues, and yes. now, okay, then now the, maybe this Fuliza is now the last resort to get <laughs> what I need. And underline what I need. What I need. So, yeah. There are a few wow. verses. Mm-hmm. Um, you can look at them. I can look at them, please. Yes. Like Proverbs, mm-hmm. verse, chapter 22, verse 7. Mm-hmm. It states that the rich rule over the poor. Yes. And the borrower uh-huh. is a slave uh-huh. to the lender. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So, it uh-huh. basically tells you that once you take a debt, yes. you are enslaved to it until its completion, uh-huh. until you finish mm-hmm. Matthew chapter 5 verse 42 yeah. tells us to give to the one who begs you and do not refuse mm-hmm. who would borrow from you. Yes. Now this is on a personal level yes. because if I have the ability, you need money, I have mm-hmm. the ability to give it to you, mm-hmm. then I shouldn't, there's no reason why I shouldn't give it to you. And as a Christian, I don't need to tell you, Sam, take this 1,000 and I want 1,200 back. Mm-hmm. You know? mm-hmm. Like if I have that ability, yes. I'm not doing anything with it anyway, yes. so I just give you. To use it yes. as you wish. Yes. Romans chapter 13, mm. verse 7 to 8, mm-hmm. tells us, Pay to all what is owed to them. Mm-hmm. Taxes to whom taxes are owed. Revenue to yes. whom revenue is owed. Yes. Respect to whom respect is owed. Mm-hmm. Honor to whom honor is owed. Or no one anything mm. except to love each other. For the one who loves another has fulfilled the law. So this verse sums up, so many things, you know. Yes, yes. It basically tells us at all costs, avoid owing anyone anything. Period. You know? And if you are the one who, like, let's say, um, if you service come to my company and you offer my company services, yes, yes. then I ought to pay you, you know, because yes. revenue is owed to you. Mm-hmm. So it just sums up a lot of the things that we should do as individuals, as a society, you know, as businesses, because we are aspiring to be business moguls. Yeah, exactly. So, yes. Uh Uh And Psalms 37, Mm -hmm. verse 21, Mm -hmm. very strong words here, Sam, which say, the wicked borrow, but do not pay back. The wicked borrow, but do not pay back. pay back. Uh, that's that's an ouch. No, it is was manga ouch. <laughs> and you start looking at yourself. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because you know you willing you willingly go to this and now we are uh we are drowning in mm, apps mm, and mm. mobile app, nini, services which mm. easily give you money. Yes, you know? Yes. Some all you need is your ID. Yes. You don't even need to scan. They don't need mm-hmm. to see that this is Sam. Mm-hmm. You just write your ID number and you yes. get the money that you want, you yeah. know. Yeah. And the instant you sign up for it, mm-hmm. you're already accredited a certain, mm-hmm. amount, a certain amount of money that you can borrow. Mm-hmm. So it's just, it's, it's very easy for everyone. 
So wow. the minute you go there and yeah. you take this 1K, mm. and then when it's time to pay back, now in fact in, in our current time we are talking about uh last year again they did a survey and they said we are having more than 240 uh digital uh, digital mobile apps you know of just you know Kopesha, a Watu, Tala branch you know a just 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 name them exactly Wow. So, um, you've said something very important, of course, uh, beginning with uh, Proverbs uh, 22 verse 7. Okay. I read the, the Passion Translation. I liked this. It says mm-hmm. that if you borrow money with interest, you will end up serving the interest of the creditors. Exactly. Mm-hmm. And for the rich, they, they rule over the poor. And, and I don't, you know, we never think that we're being ruled, do we? We don't. We don't actually see it that way. And if you think about it, Apps like this Fuliza, you yes, know, because yes. now uh, the telecom companies yes. are at liberty to offer these services mm. to the Wananchi. And you know, these services are not, they are not under the CRP. They are not under Kenya Bankers Association. Mm-hmm. You know, they are not tied by CBK regulations. Mm-hmm. So they are at liberty to offer the interest rate according to their own interest. Yes. And you see, that's what you say, yes. that it is the interest of the creditors. Yes. So us as a Wananchi, mm-hmm. We are thinking like, you know, if you go to a bank, you'll be given a loan mm-hmm. at, let's say, 13% per annum. Mm-hmm. But if you take a loan from these apps, mm-hmm. they're at liberty to charge you per day. So you'll get, if you're charged 1% per day, yes. by the end of 365 days, you know? Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. 365% mm-hmm. of interest that you should mm-hmm. pay. And that's why you find uh-huh. if someone borrows 1200 within a month, mm-hmm. you know, you're charged a very high amount mm-hmm. for a very short period. Mm-hmm. Of the loan because they must they must get back their money mm-hmm. plus interest at all costs. Wow, sister, uh, no, that that's not that's very distressing news. It's getting into my nerves, uh, kidogo. <laughs> so I can't help to to ask myself this: uh, Can people live without debt? I mean, or I mean, um, why do even people get into debt in the first place? Of course, it sounds very yeah. There are plenty of reasons. In, in Kenya, around the world, yeah. you know, with the internet kind of society we live in, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. people are intertwined in lives that are not their own. Yes. So you see, and that's why we mm-hmm. seek to put God in our finances, because otherwise mm-hmm. you get lost. Mm-hmm. You live beyond your means, mm-hmm. you know, you mm-hmm. want, eh, mm-hmm. you think, and you want to live in love in town. Yeah. 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 So I want to also live in love in town. Mm. Yeah, so that would be here in neighbors. South B, yeah. I was struggling with a caretaker about the rent. <laughs> so, to see, you're living beyond your peace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to see, you want that car. Yes. That someone has worked 40 years yeah. to get that yeah, car, yeah, yeah. and you want it now. Mm. You know? So, you're living beyond your means. You're addicted to bad lifestyles. Yes. You know, everyone uh, is going to the Masai Mara. Mm. You have friends, the people around you are also very critical towards your debt management. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, because as mm-hmm. a good friend, mm-hmm. if we're all going to the Masai Mara and you mm-hmm. can't afford it, it's quite fine. You know, you have people who will change the whole thing. Yeah. You know, we are yeah. young. Mm-hmm. We want to travel. Yep. So there are people who will change the whole thing. Yes. And there are just people who will tell you, mm-hmm. if you can't, it's okay. It's okay. It's this fine. time. Yes. And also as you're saving, you know, you can even put, it doesn't have to be that you have money and you don't want to. Nini. Mm-hmm. We are putting this life mm-hmm. to enjoy it. You know, God mm-hmm. wants us to get the best of this life. So you can actually save for these trips mm-hmm. that you want to go for. Mm-hmm. So it's that. There is also, there are genuine people who you actually need this money yes. to do something. Yes. Yes. So you've looked at all other avenues mm-hmm. and this mm-hmm. is the last mm-hmm. option. Mm-hmm. So such people, we mm-hmm. hope, um, will pay their, their debts mm-hmm. diligently. Mm-hmm. So we also um, like to live according to society's perspective, yeah. as we've said, yeah. Yeah. and just misplaced priorities. Misplaced there, priorities. Yeah, there are plenty of reasons. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, so that means if, 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 if I start organizing my life, being very, okay, number one, of course, the environment of said of friends are, that I have, friends have, have the right yes. friends, you know, yes. uh, just be very diligent in doing an audit of my life and yes. of my finances exactly. uh, and, and, and try to avoid as much debt as I can. Yes. So that means I will have to really discipline myself to, yes. to do what I can. Yes. With what I have, yes. I don't have to live a life that is not mine. I exactly. don't have to go and buy an a shoe I can't afford at the moment. Exactly because I saw it, it felt nice. You I got it. 
you know, it reminds me, there's this Jama I was, I was following up. He, he says that uh, it's adults who come up with policies and they follow. Mm-hmm. And it's just children who just do whatever they feel. Mm. I didn't like the statement, but I think it had a lot of truth in it. <laughs> so I don't have to see a nice shirt and nice trousers and I want to go for it. All this, these friends of mine, man, they tune and zip planning, man. Mm. What is it? You know, if I don't have money, just to Leah, mm. and Nianza could save, next time I'll still go. Mm. Mm. Now, we, which now brings us to a very critical point here that debt is just not about physical. The, it, it's, it's beyond that. It's, it has an, a physical, uh, a spiritual aspect into that. Please take us through that. Because much like any other addiction, yes, getting into debt, it can be an addiction, you know, just yeah, like drug yeah. addiction. Mm-hmm, and mm-hmm, mm-hmm. These are things that we sometimes take control of our lives mm-hmm. and we know that the flesh is weak, you know, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and that is why we are told to build our faith mm, so that we are able mm, to mm. overcome yes. all these things. Yes, so yes. you first need to, to avoid debt addiction, mm-hmm. pray about it. Mm. If, and you know, you always see these things coming along because you will take 500 from Mshwari yes. and you're unable to pay it. Yes. Then you take 500 from Pfizer yes. and you still won't pay it. Mm. Then you will take 500. By the time you get into branch, mm. you see, hey, uh-uh. Yeah. So start to pray about it. Yes. Then yes. get an accountability partner. Yes. Someone, especially we are young. Mm, you know, this mm, time, mm, this mm. is the time we grow with our friends. Mm. So um, uh, get those people who you know you can pray with. Yes. You can be honest with, and yes. they won't go around telling mm. you know your problems. <laughs> so just, and then you can also mm, do a financial. Mm. Mm. analysis of your situation mm. see how much you get whether it's from your work whether it's from your parents as mm. an allowance yeah whether it's from that small business that you're trying to set up mm-hmm. think about what you get yes. and see your monthly expenses yes. you know and yeah. just try as much to maintain those expenses mm. so see mm. what also as we're great older mm-hmm. we're getting into our careers yes so you're yes. going to get yes. good jobs mm. and then we'll want the minute you get another job, mm-hmm. you're moving. Mm-hmm. You know, the minute mm-hmm. you get another job, you start mm-hmm. thinking, actually, my children can go to Brook House, you know, yeah. like, yeah. and mm-hmm. yet there's yeah. nothing wrong with, you know, <laughs> yes, like, yes, it's just, yes. you try as much as you can to maintain yes. the minute, or you start saying, Sasa, this iPhone 12, I can get it, mm-hmm. but how? Yeah. yeah. You see, the minute you yeah. start asking yourself, but how? How? That's when you need to step back. Yes. And think, do I really need this? Mm. And, and mostly, of course, there, there's so many things that we buy that we don't necessarily exactly. need. Exactly. And they, that's is what mostly eat into our budget. Anyway, there's some, also something that uh, I also quote very profound. I was reading this from another article um, called uh, Desiring God, www.desiringgod.org. And they were saying this, that that is not fundamentally an overspending problem. It is a contentment problem. And then, volume, yeah, volume. Volume. yeah, and then they will continue to say that it's, on, it's only when God's grace has formed in us truly contented hearts that we can live financially strained lives, restrained, not fi- financially restrained lives, mm-hmm. not following the rabbit trail of mm-hmm. every selfish desire mm-hmm. that our wallets, our wallets can afford. Mm-hmm. So if my wallet can't afford, it's quite fine. And of course, you have said something to do with our faith in God. Exactly. Exactly. And, you know, it's not you. This debt that we get into, mm-hmm. first of all, please, if you can avoid at all costs. But if you do get into it, you can break out of it mm. because mm. God's mm. given us that wisdom. You know, mm. so you have to once you ha- looked at your expenses, uh, at your income. Sorry, yes, yes. look at your expenses as well. Yes. You know, yes. think about this is how much I use for food yes. in a month. Yes. This is how much I use for rent if you're paying rent. Mm. If you're blessed enough to be staying at home, mm. there's so much more that you can do with your money. Yes. This is how much I use for my transport. Mm-hmm. If I'm paying airtime, mm-hmm. I use a, a, approximately this man, mm-hmm. much in a month. Mm. So do a list of your expenses. Analyze them month one. Analyze mm. them month two. Mm-hmm. Then by month three, you'll know, okay, this, this is how this. much I use in a month. Mm. Then now start to, if you have any debt, Zingizwe mm, mm. So you're looking at your income. Mm. Then you have, of course, you have tithe. You have your taxes. Mm. Put away for savings. Mm-hmm. Put away for investments. Yes. So think about it like a pie chart. Yeah. Yeah. yeah pie chart yeah. nearly a hundred percent. Oh yeah, yeah. 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 So you I have, love those mathematics. Mm, <laughs> you have the pie chart. Uh-huh. So you have the thirty percent to taxes yes. if you're working. Yes. 
you have the 10% for tithe, yeah? Then put the, you can put a 10% to savings, 10% mm -hmm. of it to investment. Mm -hmm. Think about it concurrently. Mm -hmm. And let me tell you, Sam, this is the best time to start now while we're young. Wow. So you also need to put your monthly expenses and always make sure that as you move forward in life, mm -hmm. you're not going too much, you know. Mm -hmm. You're mm -hmm. not mm -hmm. um, expanding your expenses too mm -hmm. much. Just mm -hmm. try and maintain them. Mm -hmm. You know, kids mm -hmm. will come. Mm -hmm. One day, mm -hmm. Sam will call us for a ratio. So, you know, those, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. those uh, mm -hmm. expenses will come pole pole. Mm -hmm. So just mm -hmm. maintain while you can. Then just be careful. Mm -hmm. And as you've said, um, with the debt, if I have 300 I'm paying, I'm paying to branch, 500 I'm paying to Fuliza, mm -hmm. and 1,000 I'm paying to Mshwari, I pay this 300 first. Yes. When I'm done with it, mm -hmm. I add it onto my Fuliza. Mm -hmm. So the 500 that I was paying to Fuliza, mm -hmm. I will now pay 800. 800. That makes the debt go out. Uh, mm -hmm. We are finishing mm -hmm. it quicker. Mm -hmm. By the time I'm finishing with Fuliza, mm -hmm. that 800, mm -hmm. I add it onto the 1,000 for Mshwari. Mm -hmm. So I'm now paying 1800 yes. towards my insurance debt. Yeah. And just like that, it's the same principle, mm -hmm. even when you move along and maybe perhaps you need to get a bank loan, mm -hmm. you know, it's the mm -hmm. same principle. Mm -hmm. Start with the smallest debt because they usually have the highest interest rates. Yes. Then go and just finish them off pole pole. Ah, ah. Wow. Now, yeah. that, that, <laughs> that, that, that really puts a, a lot of pressure on us. It, it puts a lot of discipline, discipline. in us. And of For course, sure. they say we, you either pay the price of indiscipline exactly. or the price of discipline, you know. Yes. So either way, you still have got to pay. So it's upon yes. you to choose mm. what are you going to pay. Mm. So of course, we are addicted to madeni and to ishangi. 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 We are addicted to madeni the <laughs> debt, debt, debt as it is the yes. Kenya, you know with the the budget that yeah. we're working with now yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, we're yeah. 840 billion in deficit you know yani mtoto anazaliwa already so it's it's a sad reality that we're living in yeah it's a, it's a sad one mm. so and, and which brings us to you know this this makes us to eat into our next two, three, four exactly. generations. Exactly. Which is so bad. Mm. And it has to begin with me as an individual. It has to begin with you. Wow. So you, just, you know, we need uh. to be content with what we mm. have. Mm. We need mm. to live beyond our means. Mm -hmm. Don't let the society pressure yes. overtake your mm. life. Mm. Be true to yourself. Mm. Remember who you are. Remember who God created you to be. Mm. You know, you are the son mm. of the living God. Mm. You know, he will mm. take care of you. Mm. He mm. knows our name. You know, all those encouraging mm -hmm. masses. Yes, yeah? yes. And we need to invest. Invest and save as much as possible. Whether you're starting with your 50 bob, whether mm. you're starting with your 1,000, mm -hmm. whether you're blessed enough to start with 20,000, start with what you have. Yes. And the best time to start is now. Is now. And think long term. Mm. Mm. Don't just mm. think. Mm. Don't think of of when when october yes don't yes. think of december yeah think of january mm. so sam we need to all remember as young people to include god in our journey yeah. yes. of creating wealth you mm -hmm. know as mm. we begin mm. we are still footsteps kidogo kidogo we ask god to help us because mm. utter he contentment mm. it's not easy you yeah, know? yeah yeah because yeah, you yeah, know yeah. you're yeah. seeing everyone and so it's uh it's something we need to pray about mm -hmm. And just ask him to guide us. Yes, yes. So to be disciplined, even the discipline is not easy. Mm, mm, to be wise mm -hmm. in how we are handling our money. Yes. So it's a lot of things. Yeah. Now, uh, thank you very much. We we have studied this for for three Sundays now consecutively, and I do you believe you have been enlightened. You have been blessed this morning, and that you start taking responsibility of how you handle your money. Yes. Dear believers, dear brothers and sisters, brethren, I, I implore you, it's very possible to live a debt-free yes. lifestyle. 
because uh, <coughs> personally I got some debts need to <laughs> to to uh, it's a lifelong process yeah 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 and i've also been touched and i believe you've also been touched so uh think we you can pray for us and you mungu tusaidie by the way because wow, we need the hand of god we do we do don't we? and his grace yes let's pray Almighty God, we thank you for this session that you have given us. We want to thank you for each and every person who is tuned this morning. We pray, dear Heavenly Father, that what we have discussed, dear Heavenly Lord, that we may all learn from it, dear Heavenly Father. We may pass it on to our friends, to our families, dear Heavenly Lord, and we may remember it even as we trust that you will progress us, dear Heavenly Father, in the steps that we know that you have um ready for us dear heavenly father mm. in the positions in the community dear lord mm. in businesses dear heavenly father mm. in our families dear heavenly lord may we apply these principles dear heavenly father and may we allow you to be center of our lives dear heavenly lord yes. may we know that everything we have is from you mm. and is for you dear heavenly father mm. and we thank you for the ability dear heavenly lord that you have given us mm. to pursue these opportunities dear heavenly father mm. and that you may allow us to enjoy them dear heavenly father oh, yes, we thank you and we pray for our nation dear heavenly lord mm. that you may be able to deliver us also from the situation that we are in dear heavenly father mm-hmm. we thank you so much dear heavenly lord for yes. the front channels program yes. and we pray that your word mm-hmm. may continue to to spread through us in the name of Jesus Christ I do pray and believe amen amen, amen. thank you very much I leave you with this quote make as much as you can in that in terms of money and of course invest as much as you can and give as much as you can yes asante sana see you next sunday same place same time bonobariki sana amen